Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor Tips and Tricks video provided by M2 Technology. We will be covering how to best use the trim and extend controls in the sketch environment. I will be providing three examples. In the first example, the typical use of the trim and extend command, extending using specific termination line, trimming using specific termination lines, and shift and right click options. In examples 2 and 3, we'll explore the dynamic trim and extend options. So what I have here is a pretty typical Inventor sketch. I'm going to edit that sketch and we're going to start off by using the extend option. What I'd like to do is extend this line to the outermost circle. And I could do that by clicking on this line three times. So it's going to go to the next furthest extent for each line click. So to the first inner circle, to the mid circle here, and then finally to the outer circle. Alternatively, what I could do here is specify the termination line first. To do that, I need to hold down the control key, select the termination line, and now when I select a piece of geometry, it's going to extend to that termination. So you can see here immediately this line here went to the outermost circle. Now sometimes when you're in maybe the extend command or possibly the trim command, you might want to toggle. So right now I'm in the extend, I want to toggle to a trim just temporarily. To do that, I can hold down the shift key. So let's watch what happens here. When I hover over this line here, you can see indeed it's going to extend to the center because that's what I have active right now. That's the command, the extend command. However, if I hold down the shift key, you can see it's going to toggle it to a trim operation. So I could quickly trim that line out. And I'll do the same thing over here. Just going to hold down the shift key and trim that line out as well. So let's switch to the actual trim command now. Now I could go to the ribbon modify pen panel and select trim. Alternatively though, from the right click menu, I have the ability to switch over the trim command as well. And what we want to do is this line that runs completely through the circle is we'd like to trim out the center section. So essentially this line right here. You can see how I'm trimming that out. We just want those two line segments at the outermost circle to terminate. And you know, not too hard to do here, but there's an alternative here as well. I can also use the control termination options. So if I hold down the control key, I'm going to select the circle and this line right here. And now when I pick that line running through the center, you can see now I could terminate just the center section of that line. I could trim that out pretty quickly. Let's take a look at the second example. Now what we want to do here is a dynamic trim operation. And we were creating a groove pulley here and based upon the geometry here, you know, I could certainly come in and, and do some single click trims here. You know, probably wouldn't be real difficult to get those all out, but it's going to be a lot of clicking. Alternatively, what we could use here is the dynamic trim. So the dynamic trim is very easy to use. You know, I, I first need to be in the trim command. And then instead of doing single left mouse clicks, you actually hold down the left mouse button and drag your cursor over every line that you'd like to remove. So you can see here pretty quickly, I could just drag my cursor around and trim out all the geometry I'm not interested in having. And again, up here at the top, you know, we want this grooved pulley. I'm just going to hold down that left mouse button again. And when I let go of it, it's going to trim out or finish the dynamic trim command. So very easy to use. Just hold down that left mouse button and it's going to continue to trim until you let go of it. 
we can apply that same principle to the extend command. So if I use the extend command, again, just holding down the left mouse button, drag it across every line that I want to extend. And you can see it very easily extends those out. And in this case, you know, I could go in and use that dynamic trim as well to create that grooved pulley that we're looking for. So what did we cover? So the command operations that we have available. So the control key. The control key is going to select the termination. So either to trim in between or to extend a line to. So that's how it do. So for trim, we need two selections. For the extend, we just need one. If we hold down the shift key, this will toggle between the trim or extend command. So for an extend, it'll toggle it for trim just while we hold the shift key down and vice versa. For the dynamic trimming and extending, we simply need to hold down the left mouse button. As long as you hold that down, it's going to continuously trim or extend those lines as you pass through them. Let go of the mouse button and then it's going to terminate the dynamic trim. We also have right click options. So if you happen to be in the extend command and you want to switch to trim or vice versa, you simply use the right click and from the menu you can choose the, the option that you desire. You know, if it's trim or extend or even split a line if that happens to be what you need. So thank you for watching this uh, Trim and Extend Control video provided by M2 Technologies.